to what I show you that I am a good man of the dog, I am a married woman. I am responsible. On a normal day, I would just laugh over this thing, but it's so weighty. It's so weighty. This is supposed to be a gubernatorial candidate. This is someone who is being put up by the uh, the ruling party in Kogi State, APC. Yeah, that's yeah to succeed Yaya Bello. What is happening now more and more is the fact that these people are looking for stooges that they can just put in office and continue to control. Before we know what's happening, then as they go on, so they'll bring in somebody that will obviously be worse than they are to make them look good. We can be controlled for them to continue to have access to power as we go on. And so the more uneducated, the more unfit someone is, the more you are able to control that person. I know as you go on, we will get a sit we get to a situation if we don't arrest this whereby they can literally bring someone who is not educated at all and just put him in there. Just look for some primary school, just the person to have person that can't even really read. Maybe they have some F, whatever they do, just put it out and put the person there in office so that because that's the somewhere that they can control. At least the person will be happy that there is siren that is moving him around as as governor will not be assertive. And at the end of the day, is the destruction, destruction of, of our lives, destruction of our properties, destruction of our values, destruction of the fabric of our society, destruction of everything, you know, uh, structures, governance structures, you know, constitution, rule of law, everything being destroyed and, uh, uh, and makes, makes people more, you know, turn people to, to be destitutes in their, in their own country. And so that's, 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 that's where we are heading to, honestly. That's where we are heading to. And if you think this is bad, just imagine that it can be worse. I remember as far back as, even before the 2022 election, I used to say to people, I said, look, this Buhari that you see today that is this bad, it can actually be worse. Because there are a lot of people who up to today, they don't want to believe that 2015 was bad because, of course, they, they supported a good luck ability, Jonathan, no matter what you said. 2015 was bad and a lot of us thought that there is no how it can be worse than 2015 until Buhari came and Buhari worsened everything. So from there we knew that uh, whatever it was that was happening during Buhari, it can worsen and just see now in just less than uh, six months in Nigeria how bad it has gone. So when people say things like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything again, I've moved on, <laughs> you move on, you can't move on. Because the, the badness will be following you. A, a country, except if you leave Nigeria, for those who now say who, who are able to leave. But the thing is that, not all, I don't even think 1% of Nigeria can leave. There's no hard 10% of Nigerians are going to leave. Even if you leave, you can't live with everybody in your family or your friends or whatever. So there will still be something that is left behind. So at the end of the day, even if you give up now, if you are in your tw 20s, you've given up, don't worry, you will come back to the situation in your 50s or 40s. If you are in your 50s, like you might probably, you will not be in your 80s, they'll be calling you to come and be on the street, to come, and, to come and be making demands or something else. We really need to do something. And please, 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 this is the time to stay on. Stay on. No matter how it looks as if, stay on. I was, let's focus on our efforts. Let's not focus on our results. What are we doing to stay on? What are we doing? I've made my, so me, I, I do a lot of talking. Sometimes it's tiring. You won't believe sometimes middle of the night. I'm supposed to be like, oh gosh. Because I've said to myself, I need to put at least five, six videos out there with messages inside that will remind people that look, it's not over. That we didn't win this, this battle doesn't mean the war is over. No, we won the battle, but it was taken away from us. No, Allah, the war is not over. We continue to go. You understand? It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot easier to move on and be minding your business and just be going about and you know having your bed. No, it's worse. 
because it's going to be a temporary respite. And then these people will in in the in the time that if we move on, you move on, we leave them, they will become way, 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 way stronger. Right now they are very weak. Let's focus. Let's 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 just go focus on our effort. Otherwise, these people they are ready to in short, eh? Uh, so South Sudan will be better than all those Somalia and could they be better than us if we don't take time. Honestly, once upon a time they were doing well, they got to where they are. That's what happened. Ha. I just can't imagine. Just imagine what this 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 person is saying. And it didn't even it's not even like a slip of tongue, then you now realize we've made a slip. God.